everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2015 charm collection video. I do have two other charm collection videos on my channel, one is from 2014 and one is from 2013 and 2012. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this first section over here are finished pieces. So first I have a couple of um, octopus tentacle rings and then if you put them on, this one I made a little bit too big but they're supposed to be at the top of your finger so that's kind of what those look like. And then I have another ring. This is just a 8-bit heart and it's just on a ring base. I have this Ouija board um, with a little planchette and this was pretty easy to make. I was going to make a tutorial on how to make this but the tutorial that I made got completely lost whenever my computer died so yeah. That was really bad. And then I have my little astronaut dust plug and I do have a tutorial on how to make this little guy. And I also do sell these on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in buying one instead of making one, that is uh, also an option. And then I have this little deer necklace. This is probably one of my favorite necklaces that I've ever made. It's just super simple and really cute. And then here is one of my eyeball hair clips. The other one is in my purse because I was recently wearing it, but it just looks like this. And I actually think that I have a set of these for sale on my Etsy right now, too. And then I have this bracelet, which is a space-themed bracelet. So here's a planet, a shooting star, an alien, a ray gun and a rocket ship. Okay, so the next bracelet that I have is this little alien bracelet and the clasp is missing, or I didn't put one on. I don't think I put one on, but it's just kind of rainbow colors, very simple. And then I have my solar system bracelet and I tried to put it in the correct order of the solar system. And then I have these two, this pair of earrings, shall I say. And then, oops, these are supposed to actually go over here, <laughs> but in this section I have little chibi characters. Um, chibi characters are one of the hardest things for me to make, so that's why I haven't made so many, but let's just go ahead and go through these. So the first one that I have is Miku. Uh, if any of you know me by now, you'll know that I absolutely love Miku. And then I have Super Sonico, if my camera will focus, yep. Super Sonico with her little cats. This one turned out not so good. And then I have Lydia from Beetlejuice. Absolutely love this one. And then I have B from B and Puppy Cat, which this was a tutorial that I followed from Polly Momoti, which is how I now do all of my chewies, which is the style that he showed in his video on how to make her. And then I have, of course, Melanie Martinez. I absolutely adore Melanie Martinez. And then I have Sailor Moon, which she turned out really, really derpy, but that's okay. And then the last little chibi that I have is Rick from The Walking Dead, if I can actually hold it. Um, who else is really upset about the season 6 finale? And then in this little section I just have random little characters. So the first one that I have is Coraline, or the Coraline doll. And this I actually have a tutorial on. And then I have Lottie from Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. She's super cute. I'm really happy with how she turned out. And then I have a little Psyduck. And of course with Akuma. I absolutely adore Lukuma. This is supposed to look like a stitched bear. And then I have a couple of Nan cats, or Nyan cats. And then I have a couple of Gudetama charms. I absolutely love him. So this one, he's just laying down. And then this one, I have him um, holding a little bacon blanket. And then I have a tiny, tiny little Totoro charm, Finn from Adventure Time. A huge lumpy space princess. I really like how this one turned out. And then Bimo from Adventure Time. These little cactuses from Mario. And then I have a little translucent Baymax. I absolutely loved Big Hero 6. And then I have Puppy Cat. 
Here is Kiki and Lala. Super, super small. These are probably my smallest charms. And then I think Mike from Monsters, Inc. And then another BMO. So in this next section, I just have a bunch of random charms. So I have this little ghost holding a little cane. Super small. Um, I have a Tamagotchi. This little cactus. And there is a tiny little flower on its head. Some chewed pieces of bubble gum. A little emoji. And then I think there is another one in here too, so two little emojis actually. Whoa, the focus. Okay, so two little emojis and a little golden poop, a bar of soap, and then the last thing in here is this little 100% boy tears milk carton. <laughs> I got this idea from a cell phone case. And then the next two are space themed, of course, so I have this little heart planet brooch or this little planet with a heart on it sorry and then I have this shooting star this heart planet I have this little UFO and then I have another shooting star so there are all of the shooting stars that I've made and then I have some planets as well so a couple with some faces on them and then just one with a heart and then I have this little alien head and then this little rocket ship. And then in this one, I have this UFO with an alien in it, another planet, another alien, this little I want to believe pendant. This was inspired by another YouTuber. I will link her channel down below. Um, this little three eyed alien, another UFO, this little like space eye, I guess, with tears, and of course, more aliens. <laughs> And that's pretty much all of the space stuff that I made. So in this section, I just have some more random stuff. So the first thing is an eyeball bat. And then I have these um, alien antenna hair clips. These are actually available in my Etsy shop. And I absolutely love these. And then I just have some little pumpkins from Halloween. They have little stars on their cheeks. In this section, I have a ton of cupcakes. So I'm just going to speed through this super fast. In this section I have a bunch of Halloween stuff. So this is a little cat cookie. Cat witch cookie or dog, I don't remember what it was supposed to be. Um, and then I have this little ghost lollipop. I have a witch Kurilakuma, but her little cape broke, which is really sad, but still very cute. I have this Boo cupcake. I have another one of those over here too, so I'll just show you guys this one too. And I have this giant zombie cupcake. A little alien cookie. And then this one is the newest zombie cupcake that I've made. And then these are just little random ones. And then in these two, I just have food items. So here is a raspberry ice cream. A stack of pancakes with strawberries on top and some whipped cream. A cookie pizza with like a chocolate chip dangling and a slice. A stack of macarons. A cosmic brownie. The super chocolatey cake, this egg, the stack of marshmallows. So this one's a normal marshmallow, a um, cooked one, and then a completely burnt one. This tiny little s'mores charm, another cosmic brownie, a another brownie, an Oreo, and then one of these like little 
Swiss roll cakes, and then a bunch of Pocky sticks. And then over here, here is a unicorn cookie, which I do have a tutorial on how to make this. And then I have these other unicorn cookies, but they're just unicorn heads. In this section, I just have a bunch of unicorn stuff. This is just a rainbow cloud, not really unicorn, but I thought it fit in there pretty decently. Um, here is a galaxy unicorn head. There are little stars on it. Some unicorn horns, which I do have a tutorial on how to make these. These unicorn silhouettes, which again, I do have a tutorial on how to make. Here's what they all look like. And then I have a couple more uh, unicorn horns. And then these next three rows are just a bunch of really weird charms. I have this charm over here because it just doesn't fit. But these are like creepy type of charms. I have a bunch of these hearts. So here's this one. This one's supposed to be like a wooden one. This one's just like a zombie heart. Here is a galaxy heart. Um, and just a normal realistic heart. And then I have like little tiny zombie, or little tiny brains, not zombie brains. Um, and then I guess the rest of these charms are actually nature-y, so not too creepy. Um, so this one is just a mushroom. And then these two are our galaxy mushrooms. And then I have these little fairy doors. So here is one with stones all around it. This one is just one with a vine around it. And this one has the vine around it as well. And then this is just a wooden heart with a vine around it too. So I have a bunch of these Ouija boards I haven't really done anything with. So here's this one. And then I have a pretty like lime green colored one. Um, this purple one. And a pink one. And then I have these little ghosts. Super cute. And I have this little heart and then I have another Ouija board. And this one is supposed to be like wooden. This one too. And then I have a bunch of these brain charms. So pretty much like one in every color. So pink, blue, purple, and green. And then again another heart. This little thing that says witch. One of my spellbook charms. This is like a really really small version. I will show you guys the one that I have for sale on my Etsy shop, so that's just kind of a comparison. Um, but I really like to make them this big because I think it's like a perfect size because this, it's so small the details kind of just get all muddied up, but here is one of my spell book charms. And for the very last two compartments, I have this little octopus heart tentacle. Um, I have a bunch of dust plug charms, so these heart Oreos, um, I have these Tamagotchis, a bunch of cats, here's all of the cat charms, and then here's another Oreo heart, um, this Bray gun, and I'm actually seeing a charm that I completely missed somehow, it was stuck over here, but it says... <laughs> zombie. Um, and then I have these um, candy hearts. This one says, uh, no, no, you. <laughs> so there are those. And then the very last little section is dedicated to my very first tiny little figurine. And it is a back to school themed figurine. Um, I do have a watch me craft video on this. So it's Rilakkuma, Kirilakkuma, and Kiratori back here. I know I say their names funny, but yep, so there's a laptop, a couple of backpacks, books, some paper, a ruler, a eraser, um, a pencil, some crumpled up pieces of paper, and then back to here, Kara Toy is like falling asleep in a book and a little bit in apple, so there is what that looks like. 
So yeah, there are all of my charms for 2015, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate all of the support that you guys give me, and I love you all. I will see you guys in my next video, and I really hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye, everyone!